Yes, um, I'd like to begin with two major things. Um, I'm so proud of my team. Um, FAU has a great team and they have a great coaching staff, um, but there is no locker room that I would rather be in than with these guys. Um, they work every day. They get outside of their comfort zone every day. Um, they push each other every day. They're connected. And that's why you've seen the improvement that, that we've had out here on the court. Um, we had an awesome week last week. Um, we, we led for the vast majority of the game. It's almost a three to one discrepancy in, ter in terms of time with the lead. Um, so this is a very tough pill to swallow. Um, FAU is a great team. They're one of the best teams in the country. The fact that they're not in the top 25 right now is a travesty. Um, but what we've shown is that we can play with anyone in this league. And so we are not, whereas we are proud, uh, we're not satisfied for one second. Um, you know, we're, we're excited and eager to get better. Um, the second thing I want to say is just so thankful for all the fans that were out here. Um, an unbelievable showing um, of Panther pride, uh, the Panther nation, the spirit, and our guys fed off of that to go play 45 minutes. These two guys up here played almost 42 minutes plus. They would not be able to do that if they couldn't feed off of the energy from the students that were here. So, so thankful to the students, so thankful to marketing, uh, ticketing, uh, our administration for everything they did surrounding this game to get this kind of crowd. Um, I, am, I apologize that we didn't come up with the win, um, but I, I won't apologize from the effort because that effort was terrific. Um, I, I, I love these guys, and uh, we, we can't wait for what we're going to do for the rest of the year. Coach, I'll ask you, based on his play, anything about that? Yeah, you know, he just got really banged up in the last game and, and uh, you know, some issues with his back. and. Um, you know, we, we have an excellent athletic training staff. Um, we're one of the few athletic training. Uh, I think we might be the only program in the country that has a doctor for an athletic trainer. So they did everything they could to, to get him back here. And uh, he, he'll, he'll be back soon. He's, he's a tough kid. And obviously, we missed him tonight. Um, but we have more than enough weapons um, to come out here and play. And it's not the first time we've had to, uh, you know, play without one of our key players. But uh, we certainly missed him. But um, there are plenty of things within our control that, um, you know, should have allowed us to still come up with the W. And I know a month ago you guys played FAU up 12, double digit loss, but talk about the adjustment a month later. This team looks so much new than what we saw back in December. Talk to me about the, the adjustments you guys made. No. Well, I don't want to make an excuse. This is not an excuse. Uh, we have a saying around here, EGYB, excuses get you beat. Um, but the reality is we're a very young team. Um, you know, we start four freshmen and sophomores um, and, a, you know, 10th year senior over here. Um, but, you know, we, we, we've had to learn. There's been growing pains. That's what happens. And we didn't even give ourselves a chance up in Boca last time. And, you know, with turnovers, uh, you know, missed, missed finishes, missed reads. And when you play a great team and, you know, you, you, you shoot yourself in the foot, they're going to take advantage of it. And FAU did that. And tonight we only had 11 turnovers and 45 minutes. That is a phenomenal number for anyone. Uh, I think it's Wisconsin Badgers. They're like best in the country every year at taking care of the ball. That'd be a great number for them. But this is what it tells you about FAU. We only turn it over 11 times, and they had 22 points off of those 11 turnovers. So that's a lesson for us. We're, we're getting better. We had a game last week um, against Charlotte where we only had eight turnovers in 40 minutes. To have 11 and 45 tonight um, is awesome. Um, we're going to keep building on that because we want to keep giving ourselves opportunities. If we don't give the other team the ball, we typically get good things on offense because we've got great talent. And then to ask you, these past three games, Charlotte, UV, FAU, all top teams in conference, talk to me about just the growth you've seen in these three games in terms of season tickets. Well, there's two ways that you could look at this. Um, you know, I, I think it's easy to say, well, you know, Conference USA didn't do us any favors with this opening slate of games, you know, playing the best teams in the conference. But the way I look at it is they did us the biggest favor in the world and, you know, uh, allowed us this opportunity to test ourselves against the best teams. And what we're showing glimpses of is we can be one of these best teams. And, you know, there's a lot of talk, you know, oh, bad loss. Well, you know, we plan to hand out a lot of bad losses the rest of this year. And we, we, we haven't shown the best of who we can be yet. Um, that's still out there for us. Um, and we're just ready to get back to work. And Denver, another 20 minutes, five less than you. Talk about keeping your confidence. It feels like every game you're being able to, you know, shoot the ball at a, at a high rate of confidence. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, honestly, I just be trying to stay aggressive, you know what I'm saying, throughout the whole game. Uh, we always talk about putting two halves together, and my focal point is if I'm aggressive and I can, you know what I'm saying, be able to either score or get my teammates open, I feel like we play better within that, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like our team, we molds to that. And it just includes like all our players being aggressive, and I and I also tell like all my shooters, even tell Nick, I'm like, bro, just be aggressive, bro. I give you the ball, just be aggressive. Like I don't care what it, what it is, you need a bucket, or I know you're gonna make the right play and just either get somebody open. So I just instill that confidence like within our team, and I feel like that's what's gonna help us, you know, what I'm saying in the future with our dubs. Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm used to playing a lot of minutes at UNH. I played a lot, but uh, definitely different uh, here at the pace where we play. But just being in the gym every day, going as hard as I can, going as hard as we can, we're we're ready for it. We practice longer than a game, so. Yes, no, we're, we're proud of uh, where Petar's at. He'd be the first to tell you that he's got a lot more to give, but he has played better because of the time he's put in. Uh, these two young men that, that are up here with us right now, um, they, they put in more time in the, in the gym as anyone. They're in here in the morning. Uh, Nick comes in, does, you, you want to ask how he can play 42 minutes. One of the reasons is all those exercise machines you see around the court, he's here every morning uh, putting in extra conditioning. Um, the, Denver Jones, I have to run him out of the gym. Um, him, him and John Williams Jr., they're in the gym every morning shooting. Um, they shoot after practice. They come back at night and uh, um, uh, get extra shots up. And, and that's why they have success. Um, it takes what it takes uh, to be great. There's no shortcuts. And these guys don't take shortcuts. And our whole program, our whole roster is starting to adopt that. And, uh, you know, we, we really went into the semester break saying we had to dominate the semester break. And what we meant by that is by the work we put in and the improvement that we made. And we did that. Now we got to make sure school's back. Um, academics are the most important thing. Uh, my team had an over 3.0 team GPA last year, which I'm incredibly proud of. But now we got to be able to still put in this time on the court with class going on so that we can keep improving. Because what we've, what we've shown um, this last week and a half um, is what we're capable of. Now, it's, we love playing in Ocean Bank. We love playing against Panther Nation. Now we got to go on the road and play against one of the most talented teams um, in the conference. And we just sat here in the locker room. We can't allow FAU to beat us today and Saturday. So we can't have any kind of carryover, hangover, um, feeling sorry for ourselves. Uh, you know, no, no one feels sorry for ourselves. We don't feel sorry for ourselves. We're just ready to get better. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Thank you all. My stomach hurts so bad. I know, you okay? <laughs>